What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today is on working with videos inside of Ableton Live and warping the video to fit your music. So I've got my Mucky Weekend Dub Pistols um, track in here and it's my remix. And my remix is at 92 BPM. Uh, the original is a drum and bass track at 170 BPM, which is what the music video is. And I want to take the music video and warp that to my remix. So I come in to Arrangement View, it has to be Arrangement View inside of Live, and I take my movie file and I just drag it into a track. And as soon as I do that, the window comes up for viewer, and if I... And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and close that for now, we'll come back to it. But um, you can see that it loads up just like this regular track. It's just got the music inside. And the way you know it's the video is by these little dots or the perforated looking edge on the, um, the track. So if I come in, I can warp it out just like I warp any other music file. So I hit warp, come in, get my warp marker, and I'm going to hit 170 because that's the original BPM. And then I'm just going to warp it out. So come in, bam, 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 right click, boom come to the end and if you don't know how to warp I suggest you go look up some warping tutorials but uh, I'm not really gonna explain that too much here but anyway come in double click pull it over and it's pretty much perfect so now I've got my track with the video warped out and I've got my remix of that track warped out as well now this is going way too fast and it's way too long and I, what I want to do is half it so right now it's at 170 BPM. I'm going to half it here down to 85 BPM. Okay? All right, and I'm back, and I'm sorry about that. I had to cut real quick. But um, anyway, what I've done is I've cut the original BPM in half by using this button here, and now it's closer to the BPM of my remix. So the next thing I want to do is come in and find where my vocals come in on my remix. And let's do that real quick. Yes, brother. Okay, so they're coming in right about here. So that's about a bar after the five. So let's listen to the original and see where the lyrics come in on that. Yes, brother. Okay, so it's coming in about a bar after the the uh, intro. So if I just take this and slide it over, and now if I play this um, with the music muted from the original with my music, and if I take the view and video window, and I play this, the lyrics or the vocals from my remix should match the guy singing or rapping in the video. So let's go ahead and play a couple sections to see if that's what happens. Yes, brother. Anyway, it's kind of glitchy because of the screen recording software, but suffice it to say, he's synced up. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so what I've done is I've warped this video essentially to fit my remix, which I think is pretty dope. Um, now, there's a couple other things that you need to know. One, if you do something like this, you will need a second program like Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro or something like that that will actually join the, the video with the music. Because Ableton, when you export from Ableton, it will give you two separate files. So that's important to know. Um, I use After Effects because I like to add some titles and maybe some effects in there. But uh, you will need to know you'll need to know how to do that uh, in a, if a, in a different program. Excuse me. So if you come in File Export and you hit um, Create Video File is on, you can choose a format. You can edit the size and things like that in here. Um, but it will again come out in a audio and a video clip and then you will need to use a different program like After Effects or Final Cut to put those together to upload it onto the web or whatever you're doing it for. Also, uh, the exporter for video inside of Ableton is 
just kind of crappy. You lose a lot of quality. Uh, it's just something to think about. So usually what you would do is import a video that was from somewhere else and then you'd add sound effects and then you just export the audio and then bring the audio into the original video file somewhere else. But if you're warping the video then you need to export through Ableton because uh, that's the program that warps the video for you. Anyway, uh, I'm going to throw the video I made up online in a little bit and uh, maybe go into some more depth about chopping stuff up inside of, inside of Ableton.